And new at 11, a family in Elk Grove is demanding answers tonight. They say their son was choked by a teacher. Here at ABC 10, we stand for you and Jay Kim is getting answers. Well, Chris, it all happened here at James Rudder Middle School on May 12th, according to the student's mother. Now she plans on pressing charges against the teacher and wants to see him fired. Community activists and family members gathered outside the Elk Grove Unified School District Friday afternoon, all voicing their outrage over the incident and demanding action and accountability from the district. No justice, no peace. It all started with a fight between Shanae McBride's 13-year-old son and another student when the teacher allegedly stepped in and wrapped his arms around her son's neck, even threatening to continue choking him until he lost consciousness, according to McBride. She says her son is traumatized from the incident. He's scared. He's staying in his room. He doesn't want to come out. His nerves is just bad. McBride says the school's principal and the district showed her surveillance footage of the incident and said it was horrifying to watch. She's outraged that the district hasn't released the footage or the teacher's name. Oh, what I seen in that video was my son being choked out by the teacher. I seen that um, it, he was saying something to my son. Oh, it hurt me to my heart. It hurt me to my heart to see that my son had to go through that. They haven't given us any answers. We said 24 hours. We want to see the name of the teacher um, that is in question, as well as a videotape of the incident. During the press conference, an employee who identified himself as the district's athletic director walked by and was questioned by community activist Barry Axius, who led Friday's protest. Do you know about the 13-year-old young man that was choked, sir? I do. Okay. Would you like to say something? I would not. Okay. But I, you do have, you do have my... Uh, concerns and, and, and sympathy. In a statement to ABC 10, the Elk Grove Unified School District confirmed earlier in May two students were involved in an altercation and a teacher intervened. The district says they're investigating whether the intervention was appropriate and until that investigation is complete, the teacher has been placed on administrative leave. I want the teacher fired. I want him fired. Most definitely he should not be able to deal with children if he can't control himself, let alone you, like I said, you choked him and you threatened him. So most definitely I need you out. 